Hello everyone. Today we're going to continue with how to create a three-way sanitary valve in Revit. If you haven't watched the previous two parts, I recommend you do. This is part three of four. This is the skin. We're continuing with extrusions and solids. In the previous video, we created the valve body and the caps. And now we're extruding out towards the connectors and we're putting the flanges there. Well, not really flanges, they're more like hubs. Um, I remind you that what we want to end up with is a valve just like the one you see on the screen. And if you want to download the valve, you can access it just scanning that QR code that you see right there. It takes you to beamitup.com, you can download the valve. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. And let's keep going. All right, so the flange. Diameter is going to be I, so create extrusion. Set our plane, our plane's going to be, it's not going to be cap left, it's going to be flange left one, which is this one. Let's click OK. Now let's go to our left view. Now it's going to be a circle, wherever you want. Let's make our center mark visible. So we can then align to this one and to this one and lock both. And now we want to dimension that. Make sure it's a diameter. And then we're going to create a new parameter. And that parameter is going to be I flange diameter. Okay. And now we can make flange diameter whatever this distance is, which is 63.9 millimeters. 63.9 millimeters. Now we align to this plane. Hold on, there's something weird here. Let me, let's see this one. Edit extrusion, that was A diameter. And A was a smaller number. Right, so we need to make sure that I is bigger than A. So I bigger than A, okay, A 47.5. Let me take this to the other screen. Yeah, so this two cannot be the same diameter. So I think the problem is this one. So let's see, edit extrusion, yeah. And then A, yeah, see, A is too big, A cannot be the same as I. A is actually 47.5. So 47.5 millimeters. There you go. That's more like it. Okay. Yeah. And now we finish. Now we're talking. So now we have to create the other two flanges. So we can close the left view. We can open the front view. Create extrusion. Align to this one, this one, unlock it, and to this one, this one, unlock it. Now we want a dimension, diameter. We click here. We associate to our parameter, which is I. And we had clicked on the wrong plane. So let's fix that. Edit extrusion. Let's select the front view. The problem is that the plane, we left it by default at cap front. We don't want cap front. We want flange front one. There you go. That's this is where we wanted to start. So, okay, there you go. And now we align to this plane and lock it. Now we're just missing the right flange. So for that, we can close this. We can open the right view. We come to create extrusion. Make sure that now we select the correct plane, which is flange right one. Now we create our circle. Make our center mark visible. Align to this plane. Lock to this plane. And lock. Now with a mention, Diameter, we make that dimension, our parameter I, 
and let's keep it negative and see what happens. Nope, went the wrong way. So edit extrusion, change the sign. Now it's going the right way. Now we align to this plane, unlock it. Let's take a look. Looking very good. And let's create an additional reference plane here. And that's going to be the reference plane for the handle. And now we want to create the stem here, right, right in the center. See if we have a dimension for the stem. We don't, but we can just make it up. We can say it's always half of the diameter, half of A, for example. Let's, let's create a parameter. Let's call it stem diameter. And let's make it a formula. Let's make it the A diameter divided by 2. Now let's create our extrusion. Create new extrusion wherever we want. And we need to make sure, because where does the stem start? I think I would rather have it starting at the top. So let's change that plane. I'm going to change it to body, top. Let's make sure we click on it and we make the center mark visible so we can align to this one and lock and to this one and lock. Let's keep it negative and see what happens. Nope, it went in words. That's not what we want. So edit extrusion. Let's actually give it one inch in the positive direction. And now what we want is the top of that stem to be aligned to this plane. And now we can create our handle. So for that, I think we need another plane here. So let's uh, create similar. Let's do a little plane right here. We're going to call it handle. And what well, we already had a handle, so let's be a little more specific. This was going to be handle top. And then this one's going to be handle end. Now we can go create extrusion. We set our plane. Our plane is going to be handle top. And now what we can do is we can start with a line here. And get it up to here then we can do let's do an arc there we go and now I guess we can mirror this let's pick axis now we could actually take this and I guess we could mirror it and draw a line down the middle. Now let's align this to make it concentric. Now let's make it very thin. Let's make it a quarter inch. Let's click OK. That's decent, right? That's acceptable. But now we want to attach to this plane, right? Because that value, G, changes with the valve size. So let's see if we can do a line and lock it. And now we want to dimension from here to here and then make this a parameter. See, do we have G? We don't have G. So that's G and that's handle length. And then we can give the actual value to that, which is 220 millimeters. So G, 220 millimeters. There you go. You see how it's stretched? That's good. 
So let's take a look at our 3D view. That's pretty decent, right? 